this event makes number one on our list of top 10 weather events of 2021, Hurricane Ida. Ida was the fifth strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in the United States. It hit Louisiana on the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina and was the seventh tropical landfall in Louisiana in just two hurricane seasons. Ida's journey began as a tropical depression on August 26th, quickly becoming a tropical storm in the Western Caribbean Sea. It blasted the Cayman Islands, then became a hurricane just prior to landfall in Cuba. Ida would then rapidly intensify. Its winds strengthened from 85 miles per hour to 150 miles per hour in just 24 hours. Absolutely heed the evacuation orders and do it now. Uh, we will not have tomorrow. Preparations and evacuations along the Gulf Coast were rushed to completion as the National Hurricane Center called for life-threatening storm surge and potentially catastrophic wind. So if you're in your safe place, stay there. It's not safe to be outside. Category 4 Ida made landfall at 11.55 a.m. on August 29th near Port Fouchon, Louisiana, with maximum winds of 150 miles per hour. Here we go. The wind keeps picking up. The force is really fierce. Ida made a second landfall near Galeano, Louisiana, as hurricane conditions spread inland. The forward speed slowed as the eye swept just west of New Orleans, dropping more than a foot of rain. Ida slowly weakened, but the heavy rains continued. Floodwaters collapsed a highway in Mississippi, causing multiple fatalities. The images are really sobering here. A very sad situation, the extreme rains from Ida washing through this area. Two dozen tornadoes were reported across Mississippi and Alabama, injuring five people. The storm left millions of homes without power or water. By September 1st, Ida had arrived in the Northeast, spawning tornadoes, including an EF3 in New Jersey at the same time causing catastrophic flooding to the New York City area. For the complete list of top 10 weather events of 2021, go to weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glacier.